even the network does not want me to be great hmm. i finished doing almost a 15 minutes live video and it disappeared i have changed my network my name is okoro blessing in kiroka and i'm popularly known as blessing ceo i want to talk about anima calling and two faces marriage a lot of people have been asking me to put my out inside this matter blessing took me out inside this matter you're a relationship expert and i'm choking my out inside this matter okay now hold on i quickly want to pin the topic a quick one many of you will come and say blessing Lokoro, mind your business mind your business mind your business shut up your mouth anything that leaves your private life and come on the social media is our business your business is our business the moment you can no longer privatize it it has leaked it is now our business so first of all before i start this video i want to say something i'm a fan of two-face i'm a fan of two-face right from childhood two-face is my crush if there's a celebrity crush for guys two-face i love anima collie but i love two-face more because right from um, childhood two-face is the one that been making me feel like an african queen so this message is not coming out of heat i don't hate anybody i'm being factual now before we start to analyze the message that leak there's a message that is going all over social media that anima collie is fetish um, the brother came and wrote that Annie Macaulay did this one, Macaulay did that one. Let's first of all try, start by saying, Annie Macaulay, wherever you are beautiful, I give you full chest. You are a woman, you be. You try. You try to marry two faces, Dibia, with so much baggage. Baby girl, you try. And you've been there for how many years? Kudos to you, my darling. I give it to you. Now, woman, you be. Take, 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 take her for you. First thing first, let's quickly analyze the story. This is the story that we know, not the one that we don't know. You know, we don't really know what happened in the marriage. And to add, everything that is happening in Two Faces and Anima Collis marriage is normal. Marriage is meant, there's meant to be bad bulls. There is meant to be misunderstanding. So what is happening in their marriage is normal. The reason why I'm putting out inside this matter is because I'm seeing some comments that is irritating my stomach. That's the reason why I decided to address it. First of all, before Two-Face had different baby mamas, best known to him, hmm? and Macaulay was in the picture. And Macaulay was in the picture, this man was sleeping around with different women, like I said, best known to him. He did not just sleep with them. He slept with them without condom and impregnated them. It's okay, no problem. And Macaulay still loved him. He still went back to Annie Macaulay. I don't know what he told Annie Macaulay. Annie Macaulay accepted him and said, Okay, I've loved you from the beginning. I'm going to love you for who you are. Annie Macaulay loved Two Face, married Two Face with all his dirty baggages. <laughs> Some of you women cannot even stand your man and your boyfriend with ordinary girlfriends, side chick. Imagine baby mamas. Not one, not two, not three. Good. Small side chick, you don't drink sniper. Small cheating, you don't kill yourself. Small chats, just hello, dear. Some of you have died. Small chat, you don't screw your husband for one day. Imagine what Annie Macaulay had gone through for years, having these baby mamas around. Remember I said, we are analyzing this story based on the gist that we know. Nobody one more we don't know. Good. So, that's the reason why I'm giving Annie Macaulay to, um, kudos. Now, everybody is saying, Annie Macaulay is fetish. Two faces brother came to rights. And Annie Macaulay is fetish. And Macaulay did this one. And Macaulay did that one. And there was a statement he said. He said, Two faces suffering and two faces dying. Really? So, two faces suffering and two faces dying. So, you're trying to make the public feel that Annie Macaulay wants to kill him. Everything Two Faces Dibia is going through today is the consequences of his choices and mistakes. If Two Face is my brother or my friend, I will tell him, see, Oga, anything where they do you today for your marriage, now nah, your karma. When you men are sleeping around with different women, what do you used to expect will happen to you? There are consequences to it. So any consequences that Two Face is suffering today, it is the things that he did. Leave an Macaulay Dibi alone. That woman has tried. If she decides to say today that she's not doing again, kudos to her because she has tried in that marriage. You say fetish, and Macaulay is fetish. You hear that Macaulay is fetish. Two faces, Dibia's brother is saying that Macaulay is fetish. If Ani Macaulay was truly fetish, two faces, Dibia would not be unfaithful. 
If an Macaulay is truly fetish, Two Face Udibia will not be sleeping around. <laughs> fetish women used to put men inside bottle. Fetish women control men. Fetish women control their men's manhood and their men's sexual libidos. So, she no fetish. For those of you saying, why is Annie Macaulay staying with her mother? I'm talking based on the rumor that we are saying. Why is Annie Macaulay staying with her mother? Why is Annie Macaulay staying with her mother? Why wouldn't she stay with her mother? Her mother is the only one she trusts. Even me right now, I see my mother every day. If I have an opportunity of my mother coming to live with me, she will be dear. So because I'm living with my mother, I'm fetish. Who am I supposed to live with? When my mother is old as a woman, I'm supposed to take care of my mother. Who else will take care of my mother if not me? Why am I making this video? I'm making this video to tell you societal idiots. That when a man starts to suffer for the consequences of the mistakes that he made and the choices that he made, that time he was sleeping around with women and he was acting smart. He was forming Jagaban. He had 65 women around him. When he starts to face the consequences, stop blaming women. Women have tried, though. A lot of women have tried. A lot of women have tried with baggage. They carry men's baggage. You cheat, she's there. You give her STD, she's there. You do all the nonsense you are doing, she's there. When the consequences of your mistakes and your actions come, Oga, face it. Don't call us. I need smart in woman, 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 woman. He used juju. Two faced Dibia is suffering. Two faced Dibia is suffering for the consequences of all his mistakes, the bad choices that he made. That's what he's suffering for. He has no business with Anima Kali. Exactly. Remember, I used to teach you guys about choices and mistakes. You can't keep making choices, bad choices. You can't keep going around and sleeping with different girls. You will go to Edo, you will sleep. Calabar, you will sleep. You will go to Congo, you will sleep. You will go to South Africa, you will sleep. You are sharing spirit. You are sharing your manhood everywhere. When you're beginning to diminish in your old age, when the consequences of these things that you have done, spreading your seed around, you start to look for who is chasing you from your village. The wicked woman. How wicked your wife is. How wicked your husband is. How wicked your dad is. My point is... As a man, if you come across this video, whether you like the video or you don't like the video, that's your business. My point is just understand that for everything you have done, for every woman you have sleep, slept with, for all of your baby mamas, for everything you have done, consequences will fit you. Don't blame your wife. Stop blaming women over your choices. Stop blaming women over your mistakes. Because when a woman holds you on the shirt and tell you, baby, don't cheat on me, you will be that. When a woman hold you on the shed and say, baby, don't go, you will beat her. You will say she's controlling you. You do these things at will. When consequences come, suffer it at will. Remember what I told you, dear women. I want to quickly give you an highlight. A lot of men cannot do without you, women. Women are more powerful than men. Do you know why women are more powerful than men? It's not because of money. It's because a woman can multitask. A woman can take care of herself and take care of other people. Her children, her extended family, her relatives, her colleagues. That is, what, that is the power a lot of women have. A lot of men will want to project marriage to you so that you can come and help them. You see this projection of marriage is because a lot of men need help. That's the honest truth. That's the reason why when you leave a man, he goes to another woman. He cannot stay by himself. <laughs> but when you leave a woman, she can stay by herself. The crime that single women committed is the fact that when they leave us, we stay on our own. That is our crime. We stay by ourselves. We stay with our kids. We no longer want men. They will not come to insult us. That insult is a projection of their fear. Men cannot stay by themselves. They will always look for different women to be jumping around. They will be testing, testing. A woman can stay by herself. That is a power a lot of men are scared of. A lot of men are afraid that women are becoming more aware of themselves. A woman is beginning to invest in her careers. She's beginning to take care of her kids. She's beginning to do business. You know, send man again. So each time they see that you're becoming powerful, they project marriage to make you powerless, to weaken you. Dear women, the day you begin to understand that you don't need marriage. Men need us more. <laughs> Why is it that after everything Adam has, God gave Adam everything and Adam could not stay alone. He gave him Eve. 
my point is stop letting men project marriage to you i am using this video because of some societal idiots i call them societal idiots because societal idiots are men and women especially women in africa that cannot reason when you are divorced when you're single people come and start asking you why are you single why are you not married why did you leave the man i was tired of helping the man the man was draining me i left i decided to start helping myself that is the meaning of being single being single simply means i don't want to help anybody again let me help myself being single simply means i want to invest my energy in myself i want to invest my time and as a woman if you invest your energy your time you that's why a lot of women are successful go and check most successful women they are single they are divorced they have left a man many successful women today became successful and powerful the moment they left a man why because that thing you were doing for a man you put it inside yourself you say man rest let me help myself that's how powerful you are i'm not saying you shouldn't get married i'm not saying marriage is bad i'm not saying men are bad i'm only saying stop letting men project marriage to you stop letting these men use marriage to threaten you stop letting these people make you look as if oh you are not married eh, eh, that marriage is their fear a lot of men are scared of being alone a lot of men are scared of being lonely a lot of men know that they need help that's why in a man's old age when he is rickety he can no longer eat he can no longer move he's looking for a woman that is pushing him around some men are marrying you because of security not because of love some men are marrying you because you want, they know that you'll be there for them they know that is why they will leave all the independent women marry you that will be there for them and be cheating with independent women a, a lot of men are not marrying you because they love you a lot of men are marrying you because they can use you so when they see that they can no longer use you you have become so powerful and smart they become angry and no wonder you're single <laughs> no wonder you're not married no wonder you're not, da, 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 da. that's why you see a lot of men they can attack single women single powerful women the only crime a single powerful woman committed is the fact that she's decided to be alone I want to be by myself but you see women don't attack single men if we attack single men they say we are desperate if we say oga why are you not married they will say we are desperate we are single on our own they will say we are not married leave us alone if we decide to create a world for a man and a woman men will die more than women ah yeah papa say baba i say men will die but we bet because we are built as helpmates we are built to stay on our own we are built by ourselves so i'm also making this video in as much as i'm talking to Annie macaulay and two-face and macaulay and two-face if you guys come across this video by mistake so anywhere you see this video i want to tell you something Annie macaulay you're a strong woman i give it to you i respect you even though i've never met you before but trust me i'm a fan i'm a fan of your strength I'm a fan of your zest. I'm a fan of your patience. I'm a fan of your perseverance. I'm a fan of your submissiveness. Because like I used to say, a lot of women are not submissive. A lot of women are just hungry. So they are obeying men that can feed them. A submissive woman is that woman that is powerful. Yet she chose to drop her power to obey a man to submit to a man a submissive woman is not an hungry woman a lot of these women you are marrying are hungry so you are forcing them to submit to you that's the reason why when you do not submit to a man he will withdraw food from you he will withdraw bread from you the only way some women can submit to a man is based on what a man have to give them that is the reason why in relationship and marriage there is no loyalty now hunger a lot of women who think that they are submissive and loyal are hungry women the real submissive woman is a powerful woman that woman that has it all but she drops it all to be with a man that woman that has it all but she drops it all to stand by a man it simply means that submission is a decision is a choice i love you simply means i have everything I can be by myself. I can take care of myself. But I want you. I want to take care of you. I want to stand by your side. Everything I have, I want to share with you. And that is the meaning of submissiveness. To all these societal idiots that keep 
thinking that for a woman to be submissive is to be doing like mumu. That is not it. Submissiveness comes with power. If you are not powerful, you cannot test your submissiveness. If you are not powerful, you cannot be submissive. Most of these women you are marrying are hungry women that don't have money to eat. That's the reason why when it's only because of the 2-2-K. That's why you know a powerful woman by the woman who can make a decision when she's disrespected. You pack and go. A lot of women cannot pack and go because of hunger. <laughs> That's the reason why. When a man marries you, when a lot of men marry you, they will rip you off of everything that makes you powerful. They will rip you off of your career. They will rip you off of your passion. They will rip you off of your loved ones. Those people that are encouraging you to move. They will stop all your helpers. They will not want you to call anybody. They will not want anybody to pick your call. They will not want you to keep your contact. Some of them will change your SIM card. They make you powerless because they understand that when you are powerless, that is when you can obey them. That's the reason why a lot of men treat you like this. They give you peanuts. They put you in a box. That's not love. That's the reason why marriage is scattering. And that's the reason why I'm giving it to Animacoli Idibia. Animacoli Dibia is a woman that is powerful. She has talent. She has money. She can walk. She has something for herself. One thing I admire about Animakoli Idibia is the fact that she married Two Face Idibia and she did not cling on to Two Face Idibia's fame. She found her fame. It's not easy to marry somebody like Two Face and still be popular on your own. Animakoli, I respect you. You did not get carried away in your husband's shadow. You did not get carried away in Two Faces' shadow. You found yourself with or without Two Face and Immaculate Move. <laughs> that is what you should be as a woman. Be an Immaculate, so that when Two Face leave, with or without Two Face and Immaculate will act. With or without Two Face and Immaculate will eat. She is not under her husband's shadow. You think that a lot of women are submissive to you because they are hiding under their husband's shadow. That shadow is based on what the man have to give to them. The man's name. The man's societal value. That's why some women are still with you. They don't love you. They are just using your shadow to project themselves. So this video is for Annie Macaulay. I respect you. I give it to you. I don't know you. But every time I watch your story, the one I know, I say, Kai, this woman, they try yo. As for you, Two Faced Divya, all I feel Two Faced Divya need is prayers. He needs to pray. He needs to ask God for forgiveness. He needs to ask God to make the karma to reduce. Because Two Faced Divya, you are going to face consequences for every pain you have put all those women through. For every sleepless night you have put all those women through. You are going to face it. So anything that is happening to you now, just accept it in good faith and be praying. All you need at this point is prayer. You need to be in church to face the Dibia. Because a lot of you women, a lot of you men who go about impregnating different women, thinking you are suffering them, you are jumping from place to place. You think you are punishing women because you have manhood, because you think you have money. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm waiting for you at your old age. You know, karma is so sweet when you are old, when you cannot walk, when you start having that your diabetes, when you start having that your prostate cancer, when you can no longer move your leg, your leg is big. When you're on that wheelchair, that is when your karma is sweet. <laughs> oh, that's the reason why you want to marry us, so that we can come and pushing you on the wheelchair after disrespecting us in our young age. Oga, your karma will come. Your karma will meet you. So what am I trying to say? Two face Dibia. Anything you're facing today is your karma. It is the consequences of the decisions and the mistakes that you make. Please leave your wife alone. Dear Two Faced Dibia's brother, leave Anima Kali Dibia alone. That woman has tried for your brother. Even your sister will not take the things that Anima Kali has taken. Even your sister, Two Faced Dibia's brother, this message is for you, will not endure the things that your brother has put Anima Kali through. She deserves some accolade. With this viewpoint of mine, I hope I've been able to teach you something on this video. I'm not a feminist. Never will be. I'm a factual woman who have been through pains, who understands societal pressure and value. I'm a woman who have learned how to say no.
to rubbish. I'm a woman who have learned how to say I rather stay on my own than be taking bullshit. You will never catch me fighting a man for money. I rather be single. You will never catch me holding a man in his tie for cheating. I rather be single. You will never catch me raising my voice. I rather be single. We are women who have said we want our sanity. We have chosen our mental health over stupidity and bullshit from African men thinking that they are doing us a favor by marrying us. If you are that woman who can colorate bullshit, good luck to you. We'll be here reading your stories on blog. But like I said, as a woman, if you allow a man to put in work, if you develop yourself and build yourself, men will put in work to marry you. When a man sees that, hey, this girl don't strong on her own. Hey, this girl, this girl can feed herself. They will begin to put in effort. They will begin to give you more. That thing you are begging for, a man will begin to give it to you when he sees that you can take good care of yourself. That is their fear. Their fear simply means, hey, if this woman make money now, what's in I won't give them? What's in I won't give them? So you now hear them saying, no wonder you're single. No wonder you're not married. No man will marry you. Useless gay. No wonder you're single. You're influencing single people. Mm. A lot of men are using that statement of marriage so that the, you as a woman will not realize how powerful you are. As a woman, you are powerful. You are powerful. There is something inside of you. A, a lot of men do not want you to realize. Very few men, very few men want you to realize how powerful you are. So men don't want you to understand your power. So as a woman, if you are opportune to watch this video, hey, stop allowing this man put you in a bottle. Stop allowing this man project their foolishness to you my darling they will leave you they will cheat on you they will have different baby mama and they will not still stay and after all these things they put you through their family and their friends will still blame you society will still blame you they will still insult you after all that you suffer 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 after all those nonsense that you take when the marriage scatter they go still say now you know if you stay for husband house hey! <laughs> you see so please, if you're a woman out there and you're watching this video, don't be pressured. No stress yourself. Just they do your thing. Any man will like you will come around. Come marry you. But any man will want marry you, make it put in effort to you. I quickly want to talk about something before I go. Do you know the reason why a lot of women don't like women? Women do not love women because they see a man as a price men have been able to project themselves as a price to women so everybody is fighting for that price so when you leave a man a woman will be wondering why will you leave this price that i'm fighting for me when they find man this one leave your own that's the reason why a lot of because men have been able to project themselves as a price they are not price men are not price <laughs> they're not When you have this understanding as a woman, you will stay on your own. You will love your company. You will love yourself. You will love your being. They are not price. You that finally won the price, how far? It's just like 10 women dragging for a man. You that finally married him. Are you okay? okay let's use Annie Macaulay. Annie Macaulay finally married Two-Face. Is she... She's even the one that suffered amongst all the women that two face impregnated. And Macaulay is the one that is suffering more. You don't know. <laughs> Other women that two face Idibia impregnated are enjoying yourself. And Macaulay is the one carrying the baggage on her head. Now she suffer pass. She will finally win that, that price, that man that you are dragging for. You are the one that will suffer it. That's the reason why side chicks are enjoying more than a lot of married women. Mm. Some side chick are benefiting more than you. Because you think you have won. A man is not a price. They are not prizes. They are human beings. They are not a price. So stop allowing a man to project himself like a price. That's why women keep fighting one another. Because all of them are fighting to win that prize. That man. You will see ten women dragging for one man. Oh god damn it. That's one thing I have never done in my life. I will leave the man for you. Dash you. Take it. Take it. <laughs> Tell it with this few point of mine. I hope I've been able to convince and not to confuse you that marriage is not a priority. Marriage is not your purpose in this life. Nala. 
with or without marriage, we don't survive. We, we don't go marriage, we don't come, we don't die. If marriage was a purpose, there would be no blessing CEO. If marriage was a purpose, I would not have... In fact, there was a blessing CEO when I left my previous marriage. There was no blessing CEO. For those of you that are asking me, blessing, how come you're a relationship expert? How come you're divorced? I'm divorced and I'm... Because there was no blessing CEO. I was not aware. I was a naive girl. The reason why my ex-husband married me was because he could control me. He said it. He could control me. He married me as a small girl. Imagine a man that was fucking a 15-year-old girl. If you want to start to judge my ex, let's start like this. For those of you, yeah. he met me at 15 and he was fucking me at 15. <laughs> Child abuse. The same way they fuck 15-year-old girl. I better man. <laughs> I better man. <laughs> he could control me. He could manipulate me. This man I'm talking about is 12 years older than me. So when we got married, he saw that he could. I grew up. And some of you in relationship and marriage, when you grow, your spouses will leave you. Some people cannot stand growth. A lot of men cannot stand growth. When you grow up as a woman, some men will leave you. A lot of men, I've told you now, a lot of men married you for security. A lot of men married you because they can control you. A lot of men married you because they can manipulate you. So when they can no longer manipulate you, just like you are like the remote, when the battery die, they will throw away the remote. That's why a lot of men marry you. A lot of men don't marry you for love. I'm making this video so that as a woman, you need to be aware. Some of you are not aware about this stuff. Some of you are thinking that men are telling you to go and marry because they like you or because they love you. They will tell you to go and marry, but they will not treat you right. Why? A lot of men will project marriage to you how you are single, but yet they will marry you and not still treat you right. They just want to marry you to control you. Some of them just want to marry you for security. Some of them just want to marry you because they know that you are going to stay. Some of them want to marry you because they know you are hungry. So they'll be feeding you, feeding you. Have you ever noticed something? Some women can only leave a man when the man remove food from their mouth. The only time a lot of women will leave toxic men is when the man remove food from their mouth. When the man throw them out, no more accommodation, no more free accommodation. When the man stop giving them money, <laughs> when the man stop paying their children's school fees, that's when they will leave. That's when you know that a lot of marriages are sham. Nah, nonsense. They're just, they're just doing drama. All of them are doing business transaction. <laughs> they, 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 they do buy and sell, trade by butter. Give me food. <laughs> I give you a <laughs> Anyways, let's not make this video so long. With this few point of mine, I hope I've been able to encourage a lot of women out there. I hope I've been also... Now, this video is not for men. I'm not insulting a man. I'm only making a woman aware. And if this video affects you as a man, it simply means you need to work on your reflection. If you are angry about this video, if this video is paining you, if you are so upset about this video, that is how you know that you're a toxic man. It is only a toxic man that will, will be angry about the things I'm saying because what I'm saying is the truth. So a lot of men will be angry about this video because I'm opening a lot of women's eyes. So if you're a man and you're watching this video and it's annoying you, check your reflection. There's something you need to work on. There's something you need to change. There's something you need to rebuild. There's something you need to drop. <laughs> Someone sent me a message. On my DM. I'm going to read that message to you. Before I go. I want to read that message to you before I go. Somebody said. If you are dating someone. Try and find out how that person was raised. A lot of people weren't raised in love. They were raised on survival. That is why you see many men and women not being able to properly love somebody. You will find a lot of good looking people damaged inside because of their past. And you won't realize how damaged they are until you try to love them. If you think a person's past doesn't affect their life, then you are sadly mistaken. This is the message. This message is trying to say, stop blaming people. Let's blame their background. Let's blame where they are coming from. Let's blame their roots. See my reply to the person that sent me this message. I said, we are not rehabs. If you acknowledge you have a problem, you should find help, not love. If you think that your roots is affecting you, if you feel that you are not properly loved, Find help. Don't find love. A lot of you are looking for help. 
You're looking for a woman that will train you. You're looking for a woman that will survive with you. You're was I there when you were suffering? I had my own suffer. I went through something too. I suffered too. You can't come and heap your own suffering on my own suffering. Go to rehab. Stop asking a woman to keep helping you. This, this is too much. Is she a doctor? She, let's stop all this um, pity, pity, pity. You find out that you have a problem. Go get help. A woman is not your help. Love is not help. You're coming into marriage, relationship, for companionship. Not to come and stress somebody with the, the, the problem that you're carrying on your head. I have my own problem. Don't stress me. Don't bring all those pity party. No matter how you nurse a man, no matter how you nurse a woman, they will not see change. No matter how you help them. And this is the problem. A lot of women will meet a man and think that they can change him. They can help him. You are forming, you are forming therapists. You are forming psychiatrists. You're not a psychiatrist. It's not your job. It's like you're, if somebody have a disease now, you think you can help them. Go to the hospital. When you're somebody and you realize that you have a disease, your body is doing you somehow. Will you go to your wife? You rush to the hospital. When you feel you have a problem, solve it before you find love, not help. Don't come and be stressing people's children and be telling us pity party of how your mother beat your father and how your father beat your mother. Help. And that's the reason why most of us are single. Most of us are single because we are still trying to find ourselves. And you are forcing us to marry. You are forcing us to go and meet a man. We understand that if we go and meet a man the way we are, we will damage that man. That's why marriage is not working. Marriage is not working because I'm still trying to heal and you're forcing me to go and help another person when I have problem. A lot of you who are going into relationship and marriage have a lot of problem. Solve it first. Mm -mm. They are telling you you are 30, you have no marry. You will not carry problem, will not go and meet problem. A lot of marriages that are happening today are two problems that jam each other. What do you expect? You have problem, I have problem, we meet together. Heal. Find yourself. Be single. It's okay to be single. Discover yourself. So that when you meet somebody, you don't go and become a problem to the person. With this viewpoint of mine, I love you guys. I have a flight to catch. So I need to quickly run. Catch up my flight. And um, run to where I'm going to. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Love from Blessing CEO. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to click the link on my bio. I wrote, um, I made a video of how to stay with a cheating man. So click the link on my bio, watch the video, subscribe to my YouTube, visit my office. I'm a relationship therapist, a certified one at that. I have an office located at number eight to go over street in Independence Layout. And I'm also about to open an office in Lagos. Hmm. It's going to be mind blowing for those of you who do not know what I do for a living. I'm a relationship therapist, a certified relationship therapist, a factual relationship therapist, a strong relationship therapist, a fearless relationship therapist, a relationship therapist that does not give a fuck about your opinion. She speaks nothing but factual reality. I love you guys.